Starting off August list is the sequel to Grow Home, Grow Up. Taking Ubisoft's indie franchise to new heights quite literally this month, you'll be looking to get Bud to the highest reaches of a fauna-filled alien planet and retrieve all that he has lost. No, this isn't Dead Nation, not Helldivers either. For God's sake, it's not Alienation. It's Livelock. Okay, yeah, it's pretty much Dead Nation, Helldivers and Alienation. Yes, I know. Happy? Well, it's out this month, so get it if you like these kind of things. Attack on Titan closely follows the first season of the hit anime series, exploring all its key characters whilst giving you that gloriously brilliant Dynasty Warriors combat that developer Omega Force are renowned for. What can I say, it's EA. It's a sports game. Do you like American football? If yes, buy game. If no, why did you not skip ahead as soon as you saw the NFL footage? Sometimes it's the developers that don't have a lot of budget, but a lot of heart when it's over the big boys. <coughs> Pez is better than FIFA. A Settled Corsa is a fine example of this. It's somewhere in between full price and a small digital only title, and still looks every bit as good as upcoming races. Maybe not all of them then, a few. All right, maybe none, but it still looks like a reasonable racing car simulator. I'm starting to lose track now, so how many Resident Evil games are there? This is number four, but four is already out. 2005 is when it came out. Now it's out again this month. So every Resident Evil is being rebooted except for the side games. So this is Resident Evil 34. Get Resident Evil 34 because it's scary and now slightly more scary. Because it's HD. F1 games like many a franchise this generation, <coughs> Assassin's Creed, FIFA to name two more, have plummeted downhill so fast they might as well be recycled every single year. Wait, no they are recycled every single year. But in good news this F1 game actually looks half decent with all new and revamped <coughs> recycled career mode. Did I sell it to you? I mean, August is supposed to be where the gaming desert lands get flooded with a tsunami of varied awesome games, but this month is more like a moderate leak from a blow up swimming pool. Until now. Deus Ex is like Metal Gear Solid 5 with its awesome stealth gameplay, but with a story that can be understood without listening to 186 cassette tapes of war veterans talking about robots. This is sure to be a genuine, high quality AAA title that sees lead protagonist Adam Jensen two years on after the drama that unfolded in its predecessor, Human Revolution. If you haven't heard of developer Giant Squid before, they're the people that have created Journey and Flower, and now they're creating Abzu, potentially a candidate for one of the best small games this year. Abzu will be absolutely breathtaking and beautiful from start to finish. If you're a fan of these excellent short experiences, make sure you pick up Abzu this month. Well, I can't really think of any other games that are coming out this month. So, just check out my channel, um, subscribe, give this video a like. Oh no, wait! No, scrap that, No Man's Sky is coming out this month. Is that right? Yeah, okay, right, forget about the past nine games I just mentioned. Actually, I've just wasted your time. I could have just told you to skip ahead. Look, this isn't going to be well received everywhere, but it's certainly going to be an experience worth 50 bucks for. For me, this is the foundation for the future of games. Forget VR. Procedurally generated games are where we're heading, and you can say I was there day one. In case you haven't noticed, my channel is very No Man's Sky, and so I urge you, if you're not sure about the game, check out some of my videos on it. And until then, Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.